Breaking news out of Strongsville, where hundreds of teachers showed up at the Board of Education to hand deliver a counter proposal they hope will end the strike. News Channel 5's Paul Kisk is live on 5 with a story that's happening right now. Well, easily the most dramatic day since this strike began here in Strongsville on March 4th. More than 300 union teachers lining the sidewalk here in front of the Board of Education this afternoon. Union President Tracy Linscott said she wanted to deliver a counter proposal personally to Superintendent John Krapinski. At first, she was turned away by security guards. Teachers started chanting for John Krapinski to come outside. And minutes later, the superintendent met the union president at the front door to a roaring cheer from the union. And she handed him that proposal, which now says the union is willing to take concessions on health insurance. Here's how the drama played out around 3.30 today. And if you choose to ignore this, please know that this is on your head. You gave a last best offer. We are trying to make movement. We will stand out here for as long as it takes. And shame on you. So, round two. They took the counter proposal. John Krapinski accepted it. Didn't say he was going to look at it, but he did take it, which is a step in the right direction. Good John? for John. John himself took it, yes. So I'm hoping that, you know, he will once again return to the John Krapinski we all knew and loved as, a, as a, an advocate for education and for teachers and for this school district. And earlier this morning, about 200 students from Strongsville High School staged a walkout of their own saying they want their concerns to be heard. What do you want? A group of students walked out of Strongsville High School today and marched to the gazebo at Route 82 and Pearl Road, where they wanted their message heard loud and clear. We demand an end to the strike. We demand an end to the picketing. We demand an end to the arguing. And we demand an end to the hate. Let's stand united, guys, to get things done. Let's end this strike now. The students said they're fed up, frustrated with being caught in the middle of this strike, and they want an end to the strike now. I am sick of the student body being used as a bargaining chip in negotiations in which we have absolutely no say whatsoever. The, the teachers are saying, oh, do you need to meet our demands because for the students, and the board saying the same thing, but we're being screwed over either way. It's been deadlocked for three weeks. Save our schools! Save our schools! Save our schools! I can't take it anymore. I don't like it when how stubborn everybody's being because I'm being affected. I'm a senior, and next year I'm going to college, and I'm this month I haven't been felt prepared for anything. I really don't like this strike at all. I mean, nothing's getting accomplished, and the, the longer this thing goes on, the harder the feelings will get. And even more developments earlier today to tell you about legal action flying on both sides of this. Earlier today, the school district filed an unfair labor practice against the union for protesting in front of school, members, school board members' homes and businesses, accusing those union teachers of intimidating people. The union, meanwhile, filed their own legal action saying they want the school board, the Board of Education, to open up the books so they can look at how much the school district is spending to keep the schools open during this strike. But again today to recap, perhaps a glimmer of hope that there could be a break in this strike. We'll have to wait and see. Live in Strongsville tonight, Paul Kiska, News Channel 5.